I don't regret cutting my hair, but I just feel like I need to cover it. Also, this hat, found it in the garage. Pretty good find if you ask me. I'm trying a new vlogging style. I've been watching Casey Neistat recently. I love the way he tells a story in his vlogs. So we're gonna try it out. I'm not copying, I'm using inspiration. It's different. Now let me say it again. There's no way I will ever get close to putting out the content that Casey Neistat puts out. He is a creative genius. But I'm gonna take some of his editing styles, some of the way he does his cutscenes and things like that, and try to implement them into my videos just to make them a little bit more appealing and appetizing to watch. Those of you who are returning subscribers know that my channel doesn't really have a focus yet. I kind of try to do everything and I'm still trying to figure out what my niche is. I've done Jeep stuff. I'm still going to continue to do Jeep stuff because that is really what I'm passionate about. But I'm always open to everything. So make sure you comment down below what you think I should try in some videos. And I will definitely do that. I've done skits in the past. I've done several types of videos in the past. I want to do more skits in the future. They're really fun to do. They're fun to come up with. So if you guys have any ideas, man, let me know. I will say the video that has done the best for me so far is the easy ways to make your car speakers sound better. I think it's like easy. I think it's like ways to... I think it's like stereo settings to make your car speaker sound better. That has over 21,000 views. And it gets like 900 every two days. So that is awesome. If I could make several videos like that, then my channel would really pick up. Maybe my thing is speaker review. Maybe my thing is testing out different speakers and subs. Maybe I'll try that out in the future. Now you might be wondering, what is up with this big red car and why are you not in your Jeep? Well, the Jeep is in the shop. See, the Jeep had a check engine light. I wasn't sure what it was. It could have been several things. I replaced the O2 sensors. I took it to the shop on Thursday night. They looked at it Friday. They called me Friday. They said everything runs perfectly, but your ECU needs an update. So I was like, all right, cool. I don't have to fix anything. Just go ahead, update the ECU, and I'll get it back today. They said, well, we might not get it finished today, so you'll have to get it Monday. So this is like day three without my Jeep, and I don't really know what to do. And of course, whenever the Jeep's in the shop, it's literally the most perfect weekend that I can ask for. So that really sucks, but Monday I'll have it back and it'll be like a new Jeep again. In the meantime, I've been driving this to and from work. Man, I gotta say, it's nice driving this on the highway. Now for the point of this video, I'm going to show you five things that I think are essential if you want to go camping or traveling in your car. Starting with the main thing, which is what everything is in, you should always have a box to put things in where things don't get wet. So get some kind of storage container. I got this on Amazon and I bought it used. It was like 20 bucks. Save some money. Alright, so starting with the first thing, this is my most recent purchase, is a Coleman gas stove. Obviously, if you have a gas stove, you're gonna, you're gonna need propane, so that's a given. I'm not gonna include that. Gas stove, super important. Let's go to this, which is a mini gas stove. These two are together. This is an adapter. So if you get this little guy, it has a different connection. So you get the adapter, it screws into here, and then you can screw this onto any propane stove that you'd attach to this. Now this thing is perfect for cooking like cans of soup or anything like that. You just, you just pull these things out. And it's a little stove. Safe space too. Moving on, we have a camping chair. This thing is tiny and it folds out. 
into a chair. Super compact, super comfy. Next up, obviously, you need a toolbox. Fill it with every tool that you think you will need. There's lots of things in here. Of course, in a box. Finally, I have the top for a gazebo. The reason why I don't have the legs is because, well, first of all, the legs are broken, and second of all, they take too much space. So having just that rainproof top helps a ton. If you ever need anything that needs to be rainproofed or you don't want anything to get wet, you just throw it over. It's big enough to cover a lot of things. You can cover your car if you wanted. Okay, obviously that was not everything that I have in my container. There's a bunch of stuff. Everything's important. A lot of things are more important to some people than they are to others, but those are just five that I chose. Five very simple things that would make your experience a lot better. Can't wait to get the Jeep back. It won't it won't be long before it's back. The next video will be about that probably, so get ready for that. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and comment on the video of what you thought. And if you agree or disagree with me, have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.